so uh, I am sharing my screen to you now. Does everybody see? Can you see my slides? Can you see my screen? Okay. So uh, we have been waiting for about 10, 10 minutes. So uh, let's begin because I guess you are, don't want to wait for any more. And let's dive into this topic right now. So our topic today is to talk about more about Raspberry Pi. Also, we want you to gain some more knowledge about my copper, which is this. Uh, if you can see this uh, a robotic arm. So our uh, contents today is divided into five sections. The first one, I will introduce the uh, basic information about Raspberry Pi. And the second one, we'll talk about a sixth of robotic arm. Uh, and in the third part, uh, we will combine Raspberry Pi and the sixth of robotic arm together, which is my cover Pi, the uh, sixth of robotic arm of elephant robotic powered by Raspberry Pi. And if you are interested and you are curious about how to uh, use a robotic arm in the easiest way, I'll introduce the fourth section, which is my Blockly. And uh, in the end, I will show you how to use my Blockly to uh, control this robotic arm. So if you have any questions during the introduction, just uh, leave a message, uh, let me know, and I will answer your questions after these slides. So uh, let's begin now. The first one is I'm going to talk about something about Raspberry Pi. So what is Raspberry Pi? You can see in this picture that in the uh, right corner, this is a Raspberry Pi. So Raspberry Pi is a company, but it has many products and it mainly uh, produces a computer processor. So it's a very small credit card size computer that you can use it and plug it into a computer monitor or TV. So uh, this one is just very, very small. You can, Im uh, you can imagine that you have a very small credit card size computer with you. And if you want to start this small computer, you just need to plug it into a computer monitor or a TV, or also you, if you want to use keyboard or a, a mouse that's uh, support, uh, that's supported. And uh, in this computer or in this microprocessor, you can explore computing and you can know how to program in some language like Python. And it also supports other uh, program languages as well. And it can do everything you'd expect a desktop computer to do because it is a small computer, although it is a processor. So uh, here are some cases that is uh, implemented with Raspberry Pi. Um, I'm going to share this video to you. So this is a DIY mini desktop, just like I uh, mentioned before. If you have a keyboard or a screen, or you can also plug it into a mouse, that it becomes your personal portable uh, computer. That's your personal laptop. So uh, makers all over the world are making DIY projects using Raspberry Pis. And if you are interested in this, I recommend it you check out the Raspberry Pi official website. You can see many, many cases like a Pi Boy game computer. So it does uh, plug in into a 
screen and with some keyboards, not computer keyboards, but a keyboard that designed with a game pack. So you can uh, like browsing the internet and play HD video and making some spreadsheets as well. And if you like, you can just uh, put it uh, into a very small box. Of course, you, you can also use it to program the robot. So this is a, the video we have from the online. So if you are interested, you can browse the internet and see how people all over the world uh, use Raspberry Pi to make their own product. So uh, after introduce Raspberry, uh, introducing Raspberry Pi, I just want to introduce the six soft robotic arm. So if you can see me in the little screen uh, besides the slides, you can see that uh, this is a robotic arm from Elephant Robotics. And it's six stuff. I, I I will introduce some uh, basic information about this. So, uh, why why is six stuff? Six stuff means six degree of freedom. It consists of six joints, and is driven by some uh, motor manipulator. Uh, in a larger larger industrial robotic arm, the motor uh, is the servo motor. But in a very small desktop robotic arm, uh, we uh, not uh, usually we don't use a solar motor because the solar motor is too big and is not suitable. And also, uh, the number of the independent coordinate x motions. What does it mean? It is mean that uh, we have some uh, we have some parameters uh, that is this uh, that is designed to for a robotic arm to reach any coordinate positions in 3ds and also uh, because why it's uh why is the six stop robotic arm why because it is determined by the structure of the robot and if you want to want want the robot arm to reach any angle bit, uh, within its uh, working range, any angle, any position, then it needs at least, at least six stops. So here are some uh, information about the robotic arm. And uh, so first of all, six stop is the minimum uh, dot needed to reach a volume of space from every angle. Just like I mentioned before, uh, if you want to reach any angle, any point with any uh, position, uh, then you have to use at least six stuff because a robotic arm just like a human arm. So uh, like here we have waist, right? Waist is one dog and we have shoulder and we had elbow and we had also wrist then it uh in total it's it's five here five uh five six uh, five stuff and in the fingers the finger is the final dove so in total it's uh six stuff because uh human arms can reach any angles with any decisions in the space so if you, you want a robotic arm to do the same as a human arm, then uh, the minimum degree of freedom is six. And so we have talked about some information about Raspberry Pi and, uh, and also robotic arm. Uh, we want to introduce our robotic arm, which is Cobra, my Cobra Pi. Uh, to you, we combine the six dwarf robotic arm with Raspberry Pi together because uh, Raspberry Pi has many advantages. Like I mentioned before, it is portable and is a little computer. So if you are familiar with the uh, 
OS system such as Ubuntu or Debian, then a Raspberry Pi is a very good choice because we have a, a built-in OS system which is Ubuntu or Debian. And also, uh, this is a very uh, small and compact desktop robotic arm. And we want to put the advantages of robot uh, of Raspberry Pi into this desktop uh, robotic arm, so people can uh, use it as uh, as easy as possible, and also explore some more uh, possibility with Raspberry Pi. So uh, that's what I'm saying, uh, because Raspberry Pi is a small computer. It's a uh, functionality is greatly improved. We can use it to process some uh, images. Uh, also, we can use this robotic arm to learn some AI computing. And uh, because Raspberry Pi has a very user-friendly ecosystem, right? It has a lot of uh, sensors or also expansion extensions. So uh, if you are if you have a, a Raspberry Pi already, then you may know that you can uh, do a lot of uh, things, do a lot of secondary uh, developments with the sensors the, uh, of Raspberry Pi, right? And if you don't have it, then uh, I recommend that you could uh, buy, it, buy a Raspberry Pi or also if you are interested in Raspberry Pi as well, uh, as well as the robotic arm, then this is the right uh, product for you because we combine the two things together. And we also have more sensors provided by Elephant Robotics uh, targeted at the, this uh, product and other products. So uh, if you look closely, then uh, this one, the, the, the base, is the uh, Raspberry Pi port? You can uh, you can have a very close look about it. And uh, if it is not very clear, I recommend you to look at the uh, the pictures of the right corner. Okay, this is the Raspberry Pi, and we can see that it 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 is a very uh, small small size here in this space and it supports four-way usb you can see there are many io ports right uh, supports four-way usb two-way hdmi and it has G, uh, gpio interface which is the this one and also you can insert tf cards uh, because it's just like a, a right like a computer so uh, what you expect a computer would have a Raspberry Pi would have these functions and ports for your uh, extensions. So uh, my Cobra Pi is a series uh, of Elevent Robotics, which is powered by Raspberry Pi. We have my Cobra Pi and we have a new, uh, also six dwarf, uh, dwarf robotic arm, but uh, the, the structure is slightly different. Uh, this one is Mac arm. And we had also uh, a four dwarf, four dwarf um, my palletizer, four dwarf palletizer, and th this one is also uh, empowered by Raspberry Pi. And you can see in this picture we have designed a unique uh, gripper for this one. And if you have uh, just, if you have seen our article before, or you have followed our Twitter or other official social media accounts, you may know that we had just released a new uh, dual armed robotic arms, which is my body. So uh, these two arms, the left arm and the right arms are uh, combined with my Cobra Pi, just like this one. And my body has two my Cobra Pi, but it's not just two my Cobra Pi together, because we have many more algorithm and we had uh, decided the algorithm about the two arms collaboration together. 
right? If you have two micropi, you can do many things with two arms. But you if you have my body pie, then uh, we had designed some collaborative algorithm together. Plus, we had a touchable screens and many more attention uh, extensions. So uh, my two dual arm robot is not simply two arms together. It has many core algorithm together. So this is how my Cobra Pi series. Uh, if you have any any products of on your own, feel free to uh, type in the message, and we will see how many people have our uh, our Raspberry Pi or a robotic arm. Yeah, we are very curious about this. So I'm going to uh, share some more information about this one. This is a Pi 280. What is 280 means for? It's, it is uh, its working range is 280 millimeters. So the working range is 280 millimeters. We name it according to the working range. Apart from that, we had uh, 320 and 600. Oh. So it's a very small one. You can see in the screen as well. It's just like uh, here. The height here is 280, and it's very uh, light. So it is portable for if you are doing some research or some development of your own, then this one is OK for a laboratory. You can uh, bring it from home to school or to the laboratory as well. And it has built-in roles environment. Rose environment is the robot O uh, operation system. So if you are interested in robotics, you definitely know this uh, system. And we support the Rose environment means that you can do some uh, simulation in the computer. So and this one is very easy for users to, to start programming. Why? Because the force the fourth, uh, fourth point, we have built in my Blockly. And if you are interested in uh, like uh, computer science or information technology, you might have heard about the Blockly, right? And we had uh, developed our old version of Blockly, which is my Blockly. And this app we have already built in into this uh, Ubuntu system. So you don't need to uh, download it again. Before showing some real demonstration, I want to uh, show some information about application, about what a microbe pie can do. Although it is small here, it can do many applications, do many things, just like making coffee, making tea, or uh, you can program the, uh, the Raspberry Pi to uh, play some uh, play some instruments like the xylophone or some uh, uh, drums if you have. But after that, I want to share some information about my Blockly. So I mentioned before, my Blockly is a, is a app which is built, built in by uh, Python. But it is not uh, exactly the same with Python. You can see here in the screen here, it, this is the UI of my Blockly. And the Blockly in the left side, you can see there are many modules. And if you connect Blockly to a robotic arm, you can see some information some uh, joints and some uh, like the joints angle or the coordinates of a robotic arm here. And you can uh, use this, this one, uh, this, this modules, this syntax to control a robotic arm. So it's more like a visual um, module of program and it's puzzle style. And 
just like I mentioned, it's based on Python, but it's not exactly the same. And because it's visual, you have you can uh, easily build your logic building. And if you are new to program, then this might be the best choice for you for beginner to learn. So I'm going to share some uh, show some real demonstration about uh, using my Blockly to control Raspberry Pi. I'm going to demonstrate how to move the Raspberry Pi into a, a specific position. I'm going to switch on this one. So this one is the button and if the screen here is green, it means that uh, it is switch on. So can everybody see the UI of this uh, Ubuntu OS system? This is a built-in Ubuntu OS system in this Raspberry Pi version, my Cobra Pi. Right? Uh, just like a real computer. So. Uh, if you if you already know how to control a computer, then you maybe know how to control Ubuntu because this is just a OS system. I'm going to open this my Blockly application. So here in this left hand side of the modules, you can see there are many, many modules. And in each module, you can see there is just like a puzzle, right? But it's a real syntax, and you need to put in some parameters and run it. And this, uh, it will be a, a Python Python style here. So it will it is based on Python. So uh, you are if you are familiar with Python, then you probably don't need to use my Blockly. But if you are a beginner of uh, Python or uh, programming, then I recommend you to use this application because it's visual. It's like a puzzle. Just put every puzzle together and you, uh, you will type your own uh, Python or my Blockly syntax. So I'm going to connect the, the Raspberry Pi with my Cobra Hal. Uh, if you click this round red button and you can see my cover is red already here and you also need to uh, select the port and uh, set the port rate to uh, this one So we have some basic, uh, basic function here. I will introduce one by one. So we have some basic, uh, basic function. So the, the this one is set joint, set joint, and what is joint ID? Uh, because we have six joint, so you can, uh, put the parameter from one to six. Uh, one joint one is this one. This one, joint two is here. Try three, try four, try five, and yeah, try six. So if you want to control each joint independently, I recommend that you use this, uh, this, this function. So uh, if I want to control uh, the joint one here, I will put one here. And if I want the angle to move to uh, 90 degree, I, I will I will type 90 here and the speed is like 50 and now let's uh, connect it together these two thin tabs together and if I click run can everybody see the robotic is moving right 
So this is a very basic uh, function to control the, uh, the, the, the robotic arm. And if I want to uh, set the joint to, to 90 degree as well, I just need to uh, change the parameter one to two and click run again. Sorry for that, because this uh, 60 angle is too much. So you need to, uh, to you need to text uh, which angle it will go to, and if you don't uh, under you don't know the current joint angle or the current coordinates, you can connect it together and you can read the angles and read the coordinates here. It will show all the parameters of the uh, joint angles or the coordinates here. So this is the one, one uh, basic function to control the, 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 the robotic arm. And you can also uh, set the angle, all of the angle at once. So this one you can see here uh, it says drive one to drive six, right? So you can control the angles of six joints together at once. And I will show you how to use this uh, function to let the robotic arm to pose a specific posture. So here I will click the run wrap button again. And if I want this Raspberry Pi uh, mo oh, I want this this robotic arm to move to an L shape. So here I'm going to uh, delete this one. And uh, I will re release all the servers again because now the the service is frozen and i need to run it this function and now you can move the the raspberry pi robotic arm again and to put it into any position you want and here now hold it and connect it again and read the angles here you will know all the parameters of the dry angles of a L shape, right? Also, you if you want to know the coordinates, that's okay. You just click record here, and these all parameters is are showed up here. And I'm going to control the L shape, uh, the the robotic arm to uh, a L shape using the set joint function. So I have all these parameters here. And now what I want, what I need to do is to use the function. This one set the angle one, I uh, set the uh, angle of dry one to dry six, according to the parameters here. So dry one is 90 point. Oh, 90, 89, 89. And dry two is minus 86. Dry three, 92. Dry four, 2.28. Oh, sorry, 2.28. Joy five ninety seven five six minus eighty five and don't forget to set the speed. Uh, I will set it to fifty. And now I'm going to run it again. Before it, I need to uh, close this uh, function again. And here, if I click run, you can see the robotic arm is going to right, uh, put an L shape here. Just this is the shape we want, right? And 
we have record the angles of each joint and set the angles parameter into this func uh, into this set angle function and you can uh, control this robotic arm uh, to put post this posture so this is the basic one and if you want the raspberry pi to uh, post another posture like a uh, I'm going to release all the servers again. Um, some things happen. I'm going to release all servers again. Okay, now it's released. Otherwise, if you don't release all servers, it will keep into the positions at, at all times. So you need to release all servers. And after that, you can put it into the trash box. And if I want to put it to another, uh, to another position, we just repeat the procedure before. So I'll connect it to get uh, connect the robotic arm to my block again, and you can see the connection is successful. And if I want to put it into like this shape, this time it's not L shape, it's uh, O shape, right? Just like a, a letter O. And here I also read the angles again. And after that, you just, can put it to another position. And if you don't click uh, re-angle, the parameters won't change. Now we have recorded the parameters again. And also I'm show, uh, I will show you how, uh, how I can control the robotic arm using the second function, this one, the coordination function. I'm going to record the parameters again. I'm not sure whether it is recorded just be, just now and if you click re coordinate here you can see the parameters have updated and now i'm going to use this function this is pretty much the same as the previous set uh set angle function but this one is set joy function a uh, set call function call means coordinates so here I'm going to put the parameters in the uh, right corner to uh, copy it to this function. And it will, hopefully, it will go to the old shape I set before. So I've tied all the parameters here. Be careful. If it's this minus 90, 94, yeah, don't miss any, don't miss anything. If it is minus, you need to type a minus mark here. Is 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 it? No. Okay. And here, you we have also need to set the speed and after that we have to disconnect it the the function and here and we will run this 
run this function, hopefully it will go to a uh, O shape, right? This is a letter O. So we are using two functions. If you click this uh, MDI control here, we have set angle function. You can set the angles from joy one to joy six at one time, or you can set the angles uh, one by one. This, this one is to set the angles one by one. You just need to put the ID here. And uh, this one, can, you can set the angles from dry one to dry six at all time. And we have a very similar set call function here. You can only set the call X, Y, Z, and you can also only set the call X, Y, Z to R, R, Y, R, Z. And so, so this is very similar. Uh, depends on which, which parameters you are going to change. And if you are just going to change one angle, then this, uh, this one is recommended. But if you want to change all the angles of dry one to dry six, then this one is recommended. Okay. So uh, this is very simple uh, and easy way to control the Raspberry Pi, my Cobra Pi version. If you have any questions, leave the message in the chat box. If you are a beginner, I recommended you to use Python or uh, use or use uh, my Blockly to control. Let me see if you have any questions. Can everybody still hear me? I assume that I am not frozen here. Okay. So this is a very simple way. And if you want to like using loops, loops means that uh, you want the robotic arm to repeat one uh, movement again and again, then you need to uh, put the parameters here. And also uh, you need to put the syntax of the movement into this loop. But I'm going, but I'm not going to demonstrate it again here because I will leave it to you. And if you have any questions, you can answer me, uh, ask me. Uh, I'm going to answer some basic questions. Why I have to connect it using this? So the 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 communication between a uh, software and the Raspberry Pi uh, is through a port, right? If the port is being used, you need to use another port. So this here, this one is not used. So we can use this one, and uh, because we have need to set the communication port right here, and th this one is the right one. And if you click open here, uh, you can see the connections is successful. And if you read the angles and read the course here, it will show the current angles of the dry one to dry six. And it will also show the current coordinates of this of this one the coordinates means means the 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 position the final position of these uh and effectors but if you want to control it using the blockly module syntax like this one and you need to uh, connect the blue syntax with the yellow syntax together. And if you want to kick run, you cannot kill, uh, you cannot do it right now. You need to disconnect again because the if you disconnect, 
uh, the port right is set free, then this one can be used. So uh, as I have said before, if the port is being used, it cannot be used again for another procedure at the same time. So you need to release the port here and then you can use the port in the blockly here. There's a, a little different thing. And after you release this port, you, right here, you can use the function in the blockly. So I'm going to demonstrate again. I want to trace the dry uh, worms angle to 90 and set the speed to 50. And he, right now, if I click run, it will move uh, here. Here it is already 90, so I will set it to 180. Now you can see this angle is moving to 180 degree. So I guess I am clear with this uh, syntax. And I'm going to show some uh, applications using Python. We had a program already written, but that is very simple. I just put the, all these things, all these posters together. I'm going to demonstrate how this robotic arm will post L shape, O shape, and V shape, and E shape. That's L O V E, and uh, in order. Um, so here I had opened the terminal, and this love dog Python script is already written but it's pretty much the same in the in the uh my blockly i just set every angles and put it in a order and then it will run automatically so uh you can see now this one is moving. All right, I'm going to demonstrate again, and you can see it moving to an, a specific poster according to the order. So this is L shape, right? O shape and V shape and E shape because uh, it is impossible to post a uh, exactly E shape, but uh, it's much uh, much likely that it's almost the same. So in this program, we just recall every, every dry angles of every position we wanted to set and using Python uh, syntax to make it to move to specific shape in a order, then this robotic arm will move. That's the most easy way to control it. So if you have any questions about moving a robotic arm using Python or my Blockly, just feel free to ask or email us or just message us directly on our YouTube channel or Twitter channel or our Facebook. If you have any other questions, we are you are welcome to join our Facebook group. And if you have watched the last live stream in July, I just want to mention that uh, our activity of a, fr a free giveaway has not ended. You can always register to win a free robotic arm.
if you don't know how to do it, how to part participate in this activity, you are welcome to join our Facebook group, my Cobra Robotic Arm Group. Can the group and ask any questions about robotic arm. And if you want to know more information of how to win a free robotic arm, you're welcome to join our Facebook group again. And you are welcome to ask any questions about that. This free giveaway uh, activity will end at 5 at 5 September. So uh, it has still 15 days left and you probably had enough time to participate in this activity. You have a very high chance to win a free robotic arm.